You are now listening to Zoom Out Daily with your host, Liz Matic. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Liz Matic, and I'm finally here. Um, I've been talking about Zoom Out Daily for quite some time. I know, I know, man, and the only thing that stopped me was me. Ain't that crazy? Us creators could have an amazing idea, but we stop ourselves like a motherfucker. But, hey, I made it and I'm here. Shout out to my best friend, Rosette, for doing a little intro for me one time for the whoa. Anyways, Zoom Out Daily is, I don't really want to put it in a box yet, but we're just zooming out. We're getting our zoom in, you know what I'm saying? Um... I think I would just like to make little short episodes, nothing too long, you know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes I might have some long ones, but short and sweet, little quitty, quickies, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes all you need is a little quick, quick. <laughs> Anyways, um, I appreciate you stopping by and, and listening to me. We're like a minute in, so, so far I got you, baby, just where I want you. <laughs> Zoom out daily every time I have an episode. Um. I'm going to ask a random question. You're going to ask, oh, well, how do you get the random questions? The random questions, I come up with them or statements or ideas or anything um, when I'm around my friends, when I'm around myself, just things that I just like, hey, let's let's ask this, this, this zoom out on this topic. So um, I have some questions in the jar already. And the one for this episode, I already pulled it out and I asked a couple of friends what how they felt about the statement and they gave me their answers. Uh, before the end of this episode, I'm going to ask the question for the next episode. And if you want to participate in the open dialogue, you could send me a DM or you could go ahead and leave a comment and, and you know, let me know how you feel. So um, let's try this out. I'm going to try to do one take shoddy, meaning that I'm just going to go ahead and let this bitch roll and I'm going to post it as it is. Um, why? Because you know what? I'm an editor and and all that shit and videographer and all this sh dumb shit. Yeah, that's just what I do. So when I'm doing it for myself, I'm trying to do it as simple, as stress free as possible. So honey let's do it episode uno bitch yes okay just do it what stops you from just doing it a lot of people say just do it bitch just do it but you know inside there's a couple limitations couple walls that we set ourselves up with right that stops us from just doing it I asked a couple people this question, and these are the answers they gave me. So um, let's read them randomly. The unknown fear of success. Damn. That's a good one. That is a good one. You know why? Because I feel in the age that we're in right now with social media the internet it's like you want success but do you really want success because success is like a motherfucker out here boy like do you really want it hey do you really want it the unknown fear of success this was a good one good one jumping off of that one someone wrote social media what stops you from doing it, from just doing it, social media? You know what? I could relate to this one. For the fact that, like, a lot of times on social media, I follow, like, a lot of friends, and I follow photographers and videographers and stuff like that. But a lot of times I need to take a break, and I try to, uh, like, delete the app from my phone. And so it's definitely when I'm trying to get creative because a lot of times it, it ain't nothing, like, I'll get in a vibe, I'll get creative, I think about an idea, and then I'll hop online, and boom, something's familiar to it. And sometimes even social media, just being on it, stops me from just doing it. Because I'm like, someone just did it, how much better can I do it? You know what I'm saying? So social media, that's a good one. Um, What's the next one? Mm, family, opinions, and memories. Well, that one... That one could be that one could be a hitter for a couple people, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
I've known a couple people that, you know, what stops them from doing it could be family expectations or the opinions and or like, you know, certain things that come with just doing a particular thing. So that one's, I c- yeah, let me know if you can relate to that one. This one is friends might think it's dumb. Mm. In my early teens, I feel like the influence of your friends was kind of heavy, you know. I mean, how independent and, you know, strong-minded we think we were and all this stuff. But I feel like that might be, you know, I think this one kind of depends on the age. Like, you know, I'm telling you, at 33, I don't give a fuck what my friends say. Who, what I'm doing, who I'm doing, I don't give a fuck. But you love me or you love me now, honey. Mm, The next one. Trust in the idea. Well, that could be it, too. Because sometimes when you just want to do something, what could stop you is your actual belief in the idea. You might have an idea and you just be like, ah, is it good enough? Like, ah, am I going to actually start it and finish it and shit like that? So I could feel that one. And the last one that I got for this uh, question, just what stops you from just doing it? yourself yeah i think if if out of all the answers that i read out today yourself might be the strongest one i feel like a lot of times for me personally when i want to do something and i just quote unquote just want to do it i'm my biggest battle me myself um i feel like sometimes i might have a lot of self-doubt in what i want to do even though that sometimes I have, I feel that I have a psychic memory that I could actually fucking see myself doing it if I have already done it in the future. But actually getting started and actually doing it, it's like myself. Like I'm sometimes you yourself could be your biggest blessing blocker. So with that one being said, make sure that you are not blocking your blessings because sometimes you got to block motherfuckers. But don't block your own blessings, honey, because your blessings are your blessings. And only you can feel and appreciate your blessings. So make sure that you keep your mind, your heart, your soul, your, your everything open for those blessings. And when the opportunity comes to just do it, bitch. I ain't going to say just do it, but just do it a little bit. Just do it a little bit, man. Um. Like I said, before we end this episode, I'm going to go ahead and pull something from here. And this will be the question for the next episode. Um, If you want to participate, yay, thank you. So I feel like I'm not talking to myself. (laughs) Where I actually am talking to myself right now. You know, it's just two lenses looking like Wally eyes just looking at me right now. Wally, Wally. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out of the motherfucking ball one time. Oh, this one's good. So a question for episode two. How does music help you on a daily? How does music help you on a daily? I'm going to drop the question right here. How does music help you on daily? Hey, I can't wait to zoom out on this one. So I hope that you guys enjoy this episode. I hope you are fucking with it or fucking with me or whatever. Um, I'm going to drop the next question here. If you want to participate, again, no pressure, honey. Only if you want to do it, boo. Leave your comment and let me know how does music help you on a daily. My name was Lizmatic, and this was Zoom Out Daily, bitch. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, that was good, honey. You did good. You did good. I did good. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. This was the monitor I was talking about the whole time. You see me looking at you. I'm looking at you. Bitch. Ah. Bitch, my face breaking out.